Hello everybody and welcome to the Create and Learn channel where we make magic with technology. Today we'll be making a simple chatbot program. A chatbot is a program that allows the user to interact with the program and the program to interact with the user. And though this particular chatbot will be uh, simple, it will allow us to practice using some basic Python commands. So we're going to get started and we'll start off with a comment. I always like to start out programs letting our kind of giving us a comment so we know what we're doing here. So we're going to create a simple chatbot. I created a comment with our hashtag using the hashtag uh, tells Python that we are typing a comment so it'll ignore that line. Simple type uh, chatbot. And so now we can go ahead and get started. I'll do a few uh, spaces. And the first thing I want to do is I want to welcome the user. So if I want to get text from my program and print it out to my console, I'm going to use a simple command called a function. Now a function is a small piece of code that has a that does a specific task. And in this case, print will print what I put in between the parentheses to my console. So if I want to print a welcome message to the user, I will use um, a quotation marks and I will say welcome to chatbot3000. Okay, and so we can test our program right away by running it and then we can see that we have our welcome message to our user right here. Now, uh, just some things to, to keep, uh, to be aware of and to know is that our text is in between quotation marks. This is important if we want this print statement to work properly with text. Uh, this is called a string. Anytime we put any text between two quotation marks, we have a string and a print can print um, a variety of data types, string included. So now we welcome the user. Let's um, ask the user for their name. Ask the user for their name. So to do that, we're going to use another function called the input function. Now the input function can take information from the user and save it. So I'll use the input and I will uh, put my parentheses. And in the input, what I'm going to do is another string. So I'll use two quotation marks and I'll put my prompt. So this is the question that I'm going to use. And since I'm asking the user their name, I will just say, um, what is your name? That's pretty simple. Now let's run and see how what this program does so far. Okay, we have our print statement in the first line. Our second line, what is your name? And now notice that we have a cursor here waiting for some information. So I can put in a name here and well, hmm, strange. What happened to the name? Where did it go? Well, the input function, what it does is it takes the user input and then it returns it back to this line, to this input, and it's, going, it's ready to store. But we don't have anything to store it in. So what we're going to use is a variable. And we'll call this variable username. Now, a variable is a way that we can store data or information in Python. And so anything, so the way that we use a, a, a variable is that we'll name the variable. And here we've named it username. We'll use something called an assignment operator, which is just a fancy word for an equal sign. <laughs> and it puts whatever the user places in our input, whatever they type in for input, and it'll store that information into our variable. And now our variable holds that information. And we can test this by just printing the variable name. So I'm going to print username. Let's run this again. What is your name? Press Jonah and enter. And there, there's his name, Jonah. So uh, again, the input function takes information from the user by allowing the user to type in some information, some text at the cursor in the console, and then it saves it. it. It takes it and saves it into a variable, which we can use in uh, many different ways. Now, we printed out the name here, but, you know, that's kind of boring, right? We want our, our chatbot to be uh, a little more interactive. So how about we have our chatbot greet the user by name? 
Okay, we'll say, hi, Jonah, how are you? That's good. Okay, so let me go ahead and write another comment to say what I'm doing. So I'm going to say, have chatbot greet user by name. So to do that, what we're going to do is combine a string of text with our variable. And so I think I will have our chatbot say, hello, Jonah, nice to meet you or whatever name that they put in. So to do that, I'm going to use I'm going to do something called concatenation. And we use concat to concatenate means to join or link together. So to do that, we're going to link together um, a string and the variable that we've saved our name in. So to let's say we're going to say uh, nice to meet you. So I'll write in quotation marks. Nice to meet you. And now to concatenate, to join, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the plus symbol, the addition symbol, and that is going to combine my string here, nice to meet you, and my username. So let me go ahead and run, and we'll see how that works. What is your name? So I put Jonah, and then it says, nice to meet you, Jonah. Now I'd like to maybe make it um, a put a exclamation point or some kind of punctuation so I can just simply at the end concatenate some punctuation. I'll run again. We'll use a, a different name. Let's say Levi. Nice to meet you, Levi. So we have this interactive chatbot going so far. Now I think the last thing we'll do in this small mini program is let's compare the name. Let's have the chatbot check the username. And if it equals a certain name, then we can say, hey, that's my name too. Or, hey, that's the name of my best friend. How about that? We'll say that's the name of my best friend. So um, what we'll, we'll do is a decision statement. And uh, we, we start off with the word if. Now, the if or the conditional statement is going to check some values. And if the value is true, then it will do some action underneath. So let's give it, let's go get an example here. So what is the values we want to check? Well, we want to see if username is the same thing as another name. Okay, so we'll say if username is the same or equal to. Now we know that equal to in math, right, is one equal sign. But in we already have one equal sign, right? As our assignment operator. That's how we store information into a variable. And so instead of one equal sign, we're going to use two equal signs. Okay, and, and the two equal, say, two equal signs say if they're the same thing or equal to. So if username is the same as or equal to, and we'll give it another name. Let's here, we'll say Noah. Now, at the end of our if statement, we're going to need a colon. Um, and the colon says, now, if this statement is true, then I want you to do the next code block. Now, after a colon, almost after every colon you see, you're going to need to indent. And this particular, and Trinket, this program, knows that we need to indent. So when we press enter, it'll indent for us. So we have, if username is the same as Noah, and now we have to give it a command. If this is true, what do we want it to do? Well, let's print hey, that's the name of my friend, or my best friend's name is Noah. So we'll print that. We'll have a print statement. We have our parentheses. And we could say, hey, my best friend's name is Noah. Okay, so let's check that out. Let's run. Welcome to Chatbot 3000. Uh, what is your name? You know, I'm going to change this to welcome. I'm going to make this a little more personal. I am Chatbot3000. I am Chatbot3000. What is your name? Okay, my name is, we'll check it to see. My name is Noah, and we'll see what happens. It says, nice to meet you, Noah. My best friend's name is Noah. And you know that hey, I don't, I don't like that hey, so I'll just delete that there. So now it'll just say my best friend's name is Noah. That's great. Now, what happens if my name is not Noah, what happens is this is false. 
Let's try that here. What is your name? I'll put in Maria. Nice to meet you, Maria. Notice that we didn't get this last line here because this condition was false, right? The username did not equal Noah. In fact, it, it, it was equal to Maria. So because it was false, it did not work here. But, you know, perhaps we should do something different, though. Um, we should um, say perhaps if it's a different name, well, that's a nice name. Or it's a pleasure to meet you. How about that? Well, we already said nice to meet you, Maria. Uh, we can say, how are you? We'll say that. So to do that, we can use the keyword else. Now, else says what else means. When we use else, we're saying that if the condition above the else is false, then we want you to do this action here. So uh, it, it guarantees that an action is going to take place. If it's true, we'll do the print statement. But if it's not, let's just see what else has for us. And for else, we're going to say, um, nice to meet you. Uh, I hope you're having a great day. We'll say that. I hope you are having a great day. All right. So let's. Let's try and run. And you know what? I forgot my comment here. What are we doing here? We are checking the user name for a match. Checking the user name for a match. Okay. So let's, let's run it. And let's run it with Maria again. What is your name? Maria. Nice to meet you, Maria. I hope you are having a great day. Okay, good. So we've uh, created this simple chatbot. Uh, we've used uh, our print statement to print a, a simple line to the console. We remember that we need to put anything in our print statement between quotation marks. We've taken in some user input using the input function and stored it in a variable called username. Uh, then we use that variable and we concatenated it or joined it with another string in a print statement to give some personalized information. And then underneath, we've compared that username with another string. And if it was the same, we printed out a message. If it was different, we printed out a different message. And you can take this chatbot and ex really expand it by adding different questions by using the input function. Um, and by and responding to it by concatenating or combining their answer with another response and then even looking for a particular response and um, putting that in a conditional statement and looking for a particular response to give a specific answer and you can combine and make different combinations and really make this chatbot uh, personalized and, uh, and, and to fit you so I hope that you like this video if you like this video, um, there's a lot of ways that Create and Learn uh, can help you with your creativity. Uh, we have many free coding classes on our website um, at createandlearn.us. We do offer Python intro session, and uh, you can draw with Python. It is free, and you'll learn some of the basics of Python and how to draw using the Turtle module. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again, and see you next time.